All right, guys, so I figured we would take a break from the five colors, five ways in five days series and go ahead and do something for the 4th of July. I have this idea in my head. Well, I kind of have an idea in my head on what I'm wanting to do here. Uh, I want to try to do a pour that resembles the American flag. Uh, I'm a little confused on how a couple things will work, but we'll see how it turns out. And whether it works or not, I will go ahead and post this video. Uh, that way you can see not to try it this way. Um, but I went ahead and used a pencil to kind of mark where lines should be. I really doubt that it's going to stay in that particular position. Um, and I'm not wanting to go in with the blue area and make 50 stars using just white and a palette knife. So I'm thinking I will just do something to make an effect of, I, I'm thinking I might blow it out kind of like a bloom and then make sure that I'm scraping this area and it just be that one area. And then I will s kind of swipe the lines. I'm debating on whether or not I should add a little bit of silicone in my swipes. Um, and another thing to think about is that if I put just all white base down and then I put the red on top of the white, it's going to make it more pink or it's gonna change the color of red. Um, so I'm actually gonna try to just kind of drizzle the lines down the canvas like that. And I guess let's just get started and see where this goes. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely week. Um, it's almost the 4th of July. Uh, it seems like just yesterday it was the 4th of July last year. My daughter's birthday is around the 4th of July, so it's coming up soon. So we're going to go ahead and I tried to make a blue out of, well, it was a custom blue already, and then I just added some of the um, uh, creative inspirations, Payne's Gray, to make it a little bit darker. Uh, I'm hoping that it's a close enough blue to the flag, but let's just start with wearing some of this on here. I don't want too much because I am wanting to do kind of a bloom effect, so I don't want it too deep or I'll, I'll lose all of those great cells and I just got on a Facebook group I think it's called acrylic crazy acrylic pouring crazy train and they call them jelly beans so maybe that's what I'll call them right now Let's see if we can get some jelly beans to pop up. <laughs> This is what paint pouring is about. Trial and error and just experimenting. That's why I fell in love with it. 
and I get to chill in my house and do the thing I love in my pajamas on a Sunday. All right. Let's see. Okay, so next try. I'm not gonna scrape that, I'm gonna just. All right. And over that, we're gonna, I know this isn't in the flag, but like I said, this is paint pouring. There are no rules. There's something. <laughs> we will go with that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. <laughs> okay. It's not exactly what I, I had in my head for any of the techniques I was wanting to go with, but sometimes that's the way it works. Most of the time, I don't even, um, I don't even go into a painting knowing what I'm going to do. I just wing it and go with the flow of my soul. And that's whenever I create my most uh, beautiful paintings. Whenever I have some technique in my head and I'm wanting to do it exactly like this or exactly like something that I saw it doesn't always come out too great okay so now what we're gonna do for the all right so what we're gonna do for the stripes is we're going to take some of our coconut milk um, anti-breakage serum and we're going to use that and what I'm going to do is for the red stripe I'm going to put a white stripe right here with the silicone and I'm going to do a silicone swipe using the white over the red and then the red over the white and we'll see how that comes out and i'm sure i'm not going to be able to keep my line straight but we're we're just trying something you know we're just trying all right so first off i'm going to go ahead and just pour a little bit of the white maybe a tiny bit more into a little more cup because i don't need that much paint with silicone in it And then we're gonna just take, and we're gonna drop one, whoop, let's open it. For that tiny little bit of paint, we're gonna just drop one 
well actually two went in but and we're gonna just stir just about like that and that's it now this is uh, some red paint that I had left over and yes I was lazy and did not clean the sides this is what will cause clunks clumps in your um, paint if you let it sit anytime you let paint sit in a container make sure, sure to clean the sides out uh, because all this stuff falls down in there and that's what creates the clumps in your painting. Um, I was obviously lazy that day. But for that amount of paint, we're going to go one, two. Uh, and we got three that time. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of cell action going on. Um, and there we go. So, let's turn this this way. All right, so let's start layering these colors. Well, I'm glad that landed in the red spot. For the red, the next red line, well, kind of halfway. Okay. Just go ahead and see if this is going to work the way I'm wanting it to. I'm spraying the paper towel with a tiny bit of water just so it's able to catch that paint and move it a little bit easier. Fully submerged in the white. And then I am dragging it. All the way down. Alright, let's see if we like that reaction before we move on. I like it. It's good to go. All right, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just line my whole canvas up with all the lines that I need to do. And then I will spread each line out. So. white I have in a bottle which should be a little bit easier all right so I found a uh, one of my liquid text pouring pouring medium bottles and I'm gonna just use that for the red. Thank you. 
All right, now let's just go on with these colors to do with the silicone in it. And then we will go ahead and see what we need after we use these. So I'm going to just go ahead while they're all together like that. Well, I need to fill up my water bottle. pretty skinny so we're going to go with the skinny one. We're going to just make sure that we get as much that cell activator area before we drag it. And we're going to just kind of go slow so that hopefully it drags it all the way down. Now I'm going to just go in and any bare areas I see, I'm just going to kind of cover them, try to follow the line.
I don't even think I need to worry about if I'm using white or red. All right. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way for a second. It does have a lot of paint on it. As I just picked it up, I realized how much paint. Because usually whenever I'm doing something like this, I'm also tilting off a bunch of paint uh, to stretch those cells out. So, but I'm wanting this to be more even. So, we're going to try going in with the blue on the stick. And just kind of making a straight line or as straight as possible. All right, I will bring you guys in for a close up and then I will touch up my sides and my edges. Okay, guys, red, white, and blue. My version of the American flag on a canvas, fluid art, American flag here. I think it looks cool. I mean, look at those cells all popping up. And they're not stars, but hey, this is fluid art, so they're blooms. <laughs> it's Bloom USA. All right, you guys let me know what you think